Hi, I'm Glenn Campbell from Ecologics. I'm a land manager here in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and I'm with Mike Hurst. And I am from Highland Hill Farm, and I grow plant deliver trees anywhere in the East Coast. Okay. One of the most important things that you can do, especially in suburban areas like Bucks County here in Southeast Pennsylvania, but pretty much anywhere where you have a lot of people uh, and you have white-tailed deer, you're going to run into a situation where you have overpopulations of deer. Uh, a lot of people in a few of the videos you've seen here have been about uh, how to uh, put plants out that are non-nutritious or non-suitable for, for deer food, uh, but what we're going to talk about is something a little bit different today. For folks that want to have deer attracted into a, a parcel of land or a backyard for hunting purposes, uh, you can actually take plants and, and different types of food materials um, uh, that you can plant that will actually uh, help attract deer into an area. Uh, Mike is a, a nursery stock provider and uh, he'll talk about a few different types of trees and uh, the most important thing that you want to do is provide cover. Are there any good cover species that you can Oh, there's recommend? plenty of good cover species. One of the right off the top of my head is a viburnum. And viburnums are a great cover species for many reasons. First off is a, that you can pan over here, you can see those viburnums in the background. Though they provide cover for wind, provide area for them to lay down in, and provide berries for them to eat. In the springtime, they also have flowers and leaves, which are very nutritious for the trees and the animals to eat as well. Now, we're standing in front of a huge green bush right now, which is uh, pretty important because if you take a look around at some of the, the plants that you see growing during the wintertime, you'll notice that a lot of them that retain the green, we call them evergreens uh, or coniferous type trees. And they're excellent because they provide uh, what we call thermal cover. Thermal cover is basically a place where an animal can hide and also provide some amount of food. This time of the year when we have snow on the ground, the animals can't really access what's underneath the snow, so they rely heavily upon uh, different types of trees. A lot of animals will transition from eating things like carnivorous plants to eating deciduous or leaf shedding trees. Uh, they'll start to eat what's known as browse, which is the buds that are on the end of the, uh, the trees this time of the year. The buds are packed with nutrition. And there are some plants out there, and, and Mike, you could probably recommend some that really produce abundant buds during the wintertime. Yeah, one of them that's really noticeable that people can see from the distance is like a magnolia bud, where it has really big buds that are very visible, and they can eat those easily. Other ones you can probably go after are like a cedars of some sort, not so much like the eastern red cedar, but there are a lot of other cedars you can get that the deer can eat pretty, pretty, pretty much easily, and they grow natives into the areas. Um, I guess we can also go after some of the more evergreens ones like this. This is actually a nice, really nice example of an American holly in our backyard. We can go after some of the evergreens like this, but that's more of like last resort for them. If you really wanted to go something for them to eat, it would be all year round good eating. It would be like an arbor of of sorts. Now all this stuff might seem a little bit overwhelming, but there are different types of, of actual food plot materials you can place down as well. Something along the lines of a, a turnip, for instance. A turnip is an excellent wintertime uh, food plot mix. Uh, a lot of them are called the brassicas. The brassicas are something that generally die off just like a normal plant would when the first frost comes around, but they produce a fruit that's pretty hardy and it lasts well into the wintertime. And the deer will root through uh, the ground to try to get at those turnips. So, a lot of good options there, but you're going to need professional help getting some of these things installed and maintaining them and having somebody come out to a site and just tell you what you're looking at. Some types of uh, ground are not necessarily good for other types of trees. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, just give us an idea of how you select trees for a particular area. All right, the management method that I use when I go out and give advice on how or what plants to be planted in usually has to go with what your area looks like, how much light it has, whether it's in a wetter area, what kind of exposure it has, whether it be northern facing or southern exposure, types of plots of land. And what I do is I pick out plants that would grow naturally in that area. And I would, if it was, for most people, I would pick out plants that you wouldn't want deer, but I can tailor what you need by what types of plants I can put in. For instance, if you didn't want to see your neighbor, I can put in evergreen plants that are nice and thick and you won't have to see your neighbor. If you want to attract wild birds, I can put in plants that have a small enough berry that the birds can eat. That way during the winter, they can still eat the berries and you don't have to go for bird feed. So there's many different ways that I do deal with many different customers who have different needs. I just need to know what your needs are and I need to know what the site location's needs are. 
Now, in the wintertime, it's also important to provide high protein, especially for white-tailed deer, but turkey will also benefit from that. Uh, pelletized protein is something that we provide as a service as well. You can uh, utilize a combination of pelletized protein, which is similar to a horse feed, if you will, uh, in combination with different types of food plots like the brassicas or turnips that we talked about, providing a dense, dense, dense cover uh, for, uh, for protection against winter elements uh, and also protection against what is perceived to be predators. So you can contact us at Highland Hill Farm. Our number is 215-651. Eight three two nine. Thank you for your. We're at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This, is, this video is about the American hornbeam. This tree is a wetlands tree. We grow quite a few of these. You can come pick out what you want or we can just dig them. Normally we let them grow with a lot of the branches to the bottom. Some of them are multi-stem. Most of these are single stem. It's a tree that likes wet soils. It's considered a wetlands plant. It's very easy to grow. And you can see the soil here is is a wetland soil. There's water in the all around here. It's a wetlands type plant. And we grow quite a few of these. This this one block here has about a thousand of them in it. And you can see it's quite a big block. And it goes all the way down to the wood line, way down there. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville. We have thousands of trees, plants, and shrubs here. And we uh can let you come out and tag or we can dig for you on for custom orders. These trees range up to two and a half inch, one inch to two and a half inch. And we have a lot of other trees like for example over here we have some viburnums. There's uh, the black hall viburnum in there and behind it is the uh, white birch. And then across the street we have another farm and over there we have Dawn redwoods in the field over here, also some sycamores and some more river birches. So just give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.